what you know about me. You don't know nothing, keep it real with me. She says she ain't trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that seat. I'm just hoping she don't feel feel. Cause what she do, I don't know what I'ma do. All that I heard that y'all was talking, it was comical. Pull up in your city for the evening, what you trying to do? Uh, Cause I'm open to it. I know that you're missing, but you gon' get through it. I can help with it if you need that. Go and bring the beat back. I don't really listen to the feedback, nah. Told me that she good, she don't need Jack, nah. I'm real proud of the steps you took just to get to the place that you had today. I couldn't tell you to you straight, I gotta estimate. I wonder if I ought to go here with the past to say. Now go ahead, get me out of here, I couldn't last today. I got the city talking about me like I passed away. Automatic is a habit, you should know it's automated. I've been getting to it, I ain't noticed y'all was hate. Brand new chick, she don't know that I can face it. I just wanna know that I can hold a conversation. Oof, I don't know what y'all debate. I've been waiting for you, now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check, trying to run an operation. Went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings in. I can tell now that you ain't talking about nothing. trip to the northwest would be complete without a little rain and we've got a lot of rain falling right now at lumen field in downtown seattle nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an nfl game and that was in evidence a moment ago fireworks pyrotechnics you name it this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the los angeles rams and the seattle seahawks and this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. This is Melvin Gordon, and he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. He's a quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up second and four. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's Gordon. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. And inches. Throwing Jones. And Eifert has it. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That third down conversion, good for 23. It's a gain of Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Now Gordon on first down. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brand, I know where they're only going here, but those kind of runs are going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Jones now off the play fake. Got Gordon open, completes it. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. First down, Gordon, and this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the Seahawks' 22-yard line. 
Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. From the gun, Jones. His throw caught at about the five. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And goal, Melvin Gordon. And he will push his way forward down to about the three yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. It's a good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, Son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, give me my best power running play with my best back right now. But that backs him up one yard and brings up third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. The Seattle defense, they haven't broken yet. Coming up here on a third and goal situation. On third and goal, they're going to run the option. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. Now Jones throwing on fourth down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions, can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? So after the INT, it's Rodgers. It's complete to Parker, left side. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Rodgers. Flushed out right. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. They'll run for the first time with Tariq Cohen. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. Looking for Snead, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Verrett. He had a little bit of a turnover bug last week. Three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. 
Escaping the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. should be the final play before the quarter ends. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Having met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully, that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Jones, off play action. There goes a deep ball, end zone, and it's complete. He's got it in the end zone, touchdown Rams. DK Metcalf, his 11th touchdown of the year, as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. The point after threw the raindrops up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. That'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I can't help it. Every time I see Eric Berry make a play, as we just saw him make a tackle there, I just want to stand up and applaud. Because he went to Tennessee like you? Well, that, that doesn't hurt one bit, but how about the comeback? I mean, he came yeah. back from, from beating cancer and getting back to Pro Bowl level, one of the best players in the game. On second down and four, Rodgers. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 19. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. 19 yard line. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. Flush to his right. And this will be incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now a shotgun handoff to Cohen. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. They went with the dime look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs. Blanketed everyone. Took away all the passing angles. Thus, the incompletion.
Out there is Rodrigo Blankenship in the field goal unit. For the field goal, a 31-yard attempt. Blankenship's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays, and when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. At their own 21-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. On second down, it's Gordon. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 11 yards there, first down. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Here's Jones on first and 10. Deep ball for Goodwin. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. A big play there for L.A. 49 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now Jones. He's going to drop this one down to Gordon. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And, and happy. Brings up second and goal at the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. Now a tenth carry for Melvin Gordon. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Jones. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. D.K. Metcalf. His second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Rams add on to their lead. Gano the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. 
this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25 yard line. Come into the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You've got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high power. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers, and this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. Jones now on first down. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Of a yard. It's second down. So we have reached halftime here in an 11 point contest. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Their own 21-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Rodgers now on first down. And this is incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Rodgers will try again on second down. Going deep for Dick. He's got a man complete. 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Stephon Diggs. 79 yards. And the Seahawks able to make this a close game again. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. That's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go, oh, man, I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Seahawks 
set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten. From the gun, Jones. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. In the pocket, chucked it away. Flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field. Have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. Following the penalty, here's Gordon. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. A gain of 10 yards. And it's throwing on third and long. Jones flushed out right. Able to get this to Gordon. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short. And it'll be fourth down. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. And the Rams first down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Back to throw. Jones. Throw left side complete. It's Freeman. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 25 yards that time. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches. And they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space. Let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defense to Ben dropping out in a zone blitz. He's going to win that battle just about every time. They'll run on first down. Gordon fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. There to stop him, Juwan Bentley. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Off play action. Jones. Throw to the right here to Gordon. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 11 yards there, first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now Jones throwing on first down to Gordon out left. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Give him eight on the play, and it's a second down. At the 15-yard line. throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield and all the way down inside the five to the four it's a nice pickup of 12 yards and it gives him a first and goal it's interesting because when i'm watching college football and i'm evaluating guys for the draft now my list of fullbacks pure fullbacks it's a very short list i'm probably evaluating more hunters and kickers now than I am fullbacks, but doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there, and there we saw completion. And that's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defense coordinator, body after body, getting to him before he can get started. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon, and he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Melvin Gordon with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. 
to rebound. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Their own 23-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And 11. At the 20. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. No, no, no. Now a play fake. Rodgers looking downfield for Kelsey. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain there of 30 big ones. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Back-to-back -back plays of right around 30 yards, and the field position has totally been flipped. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And it's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. We sit in quarter number three out in Seattle. A second and ten now. To throw again. Rodgers. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Travis Kelsey hitting double digits with his tenth touchdown of the season. And the Seahawks have made this a one-score game. And the lead is down to a field goal now. Makes the score Rams 21. Seahawks. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Throwing again. Jones. He'll find Metcalf. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Back now in Seattle, Washington. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. On the counter, here's Gordon. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back 
to the ground, this time with Freeman. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production meetings they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. Freeman again. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And down to the 19-yard line. That one good for 33 and a first. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nine yards is the pickup there, and they'll have a second and one. Second and a yard. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Touchdown. Melvin Gordon with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Rams add on to their lead. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Makes the score Rams 28, Seahawks 18. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. The left side caught by Diggs. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. Going deep for Diggs. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, four quarters, hours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, 
All you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. And he will score. Touchdown, L.A. Jakeem Grant, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Rams add on to their lead. Just a great individual effort there to take that pop pass and scamper off into the end zone. And that's why offenses love that play partner because that gives them a chance to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers with a full head of steam behind them. It's open like a track relay. Legs two, three, and four. That first guy steam in ahead, and he has hands it to you, and you get a chance to take off and go before you even get the baton. 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they were ultra confident coming in, that's for sure. They had won seven straight, but number eight not looking to be in the cards right now. Rodgers now on first down. Flush to his right. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. Now, a lot of pressure. That forced the Aaron pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate. It was just incomplete and not intercepted. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Seattle Seahawks. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And oh, look at that. A diving catch. 12 more yards there and another first down. 12 more yards. And that's good for another Seahawks. First and 10. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. Another Seahawks first down. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. On first down, Rodgers. This is caught. And he'll be out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. They'll look to run with Akers. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Cam Akers with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. Over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives, and a two-score lead. I think here now you just, you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after them right here. I really? want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. I say, <laughs> run the football. You've got the lead. Well, let's watch it and find out who's right. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Second and one. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. 
He'll give it to Gordon out of the shotgun. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. They'll eat some clock with Freeman. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Now a 20th carry, number 20 here for Melvin Gordon. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. Third down. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. from the gun Jones and that is incomplete a lot of times it's that first read that you have maybe you get it in pre-snap he locked in on his target but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete and this is a way it's a high kick and he got all of it and a little too much mustard on that one it hits a couple yards into the end zone a missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. A really nice gain of 25 yards. At the 45-yard line. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Now Rodgers. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by the safety, Jarquiski Tart. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. So now he's equaled his interception total from a week ago. Remember, Charles, he had three last week. And you know, all week long, he vowed to take that number down. Told the guys on the team, don't worry, things are going to pick up. I've got this. But he is in a major league rut right now. Let's see if his teammates can pick him up along the way. You're right. He talked about being cool, calm, collective, rebounding. Not rebounding right here. Man open. It's good one. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Looks like he'll throw here. And that one drops to the ground. Incomplete. The clock stops here just inside of 20 seconds. 19 left. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Let's go. 
So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To throw again, Jones. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Los Angeles. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, Jones. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And that will write a finish to this ball game. Today's final score. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for L.A., the win here means it'll be a 7-1 first half of the season. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to the Windy City to take on the Bears. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, the perfect season was apparently not meant to be as they drop to 7-1. And, and they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Santa Clara to take on the 